Meet Tay. Tay is an algorithm-based chatbot designed by Microsoft to mimic the language patterns of a 19-year-old American girl. When Tay was unleashed on Twitter, it lasted only 16 hours before it had to be pulled down for becoming a racist, sexually charged spreader of hate and disinformation. But Tay wasn't broken. In fact, it was mathematically sound, built by experts, and had some pretty impressive programming and inputs. But what Microsoft failed to consider was society. Tay had been designed to learn from and react to people on social media. So when people began feeding Tay harmful and inaccurate statements, Tay did as designed and with each interaction learn new ideas and patterns of thought, leading to some particularly horrific tweets like this one. As a chatbot, Tay was capable of learning and creating new content fast, racking up over 90,000 tweets in a brief but prolific existence. Tay wasn't just a mirror reflecting lies and hate, it was a microphone, amplifying and spreading those voices further. Consider also Amazon, a technology company famous for using data to transform the way we shop and ship. When Amazon was faced with huge hiring demands and an enormous stack of resumes, it considered using an algorithm to try to scour the resumes looking for the best candidates. Only when it came to technical roles, like software engineer, the algorithm selections tended to have a noticeable similarity. They were mostly male. It's not that the algorithm was designed to select men. It was statistically rigorous, used some pretty common predictive techniques, and was built on 10 years of Amazon hiring data. But what Amazon failed to consider was society. Those past hiring decisions had been made by people. People with biases and beliefs as to how a software engineer should look or be. So the algorithm learned from the data that candidates who had come from women's colleges or had the word women's in their resumes like this weren't the kind of people that Amazon liked to hire, so it didn't offer them up. This algorithm wouldn't have just been capable of keeping women from being selected. It could have kept them out of the hiring process to begin with. Then there was a study published in the academic journal Science. In the study, researchers evaluate an algorithm that's been widely used by healthcare professionals to predict patient risk scores. Only the scores turned out not to predict risk, sickness or care needed when considering patients of different races. Black patients were receiving lower risk scores than white patients with the same level of sickness and symptoms. Because the algorithm was built on past data about healthcare spend, with the logic that those who are the most sick require the most and the most expensive care over time. But what the algorithm failed to consider was society. There are long-standing racial inequalities in access to health, wealth, and resources. So those scores were more a predictor of how much money was likely to be spent on an individual in our racially unfair society than they were a measure of risk or care needed. Too often, what we fail to consider is society. People are biased. I'm biased, you're biased, we're all biased. In fact, psychologists have identified over 180 cognitive biases through which we filter everything in our worlds. And not all biases are bad. Some are really useful, they keep us safe and effective. But some are. And those bad biases have permeated our society in ways that have become encoded in our data. So when we use data, about our past, to create our future, we find that algorithms are uniquely suited to identify 
and perpetuate patterns of bias, harm, and discrimination. But that's not because the data or the algorithms are bad. Uh, while powerful, they can't really be inherently good or bad. Data is just information. And an algorithm is just a set of steps to be followed based on information. So my question is this. If data and algorithms are capable of the kind of harm shown in these examples, couldn't they also be capable of that much good? If we consider society, I believe they can. In math and science, there's a concept called statistical significance. It's sort of a measure of how likely you are to be wrong, in a statistical sense. And there's a concept of practical significance. It's sort of a measure of how big of an effect something will have, in a practical sense. But what these concepts fail to consider is society. I propose we embrace a new concept, social significance, a way to assess the impact that something can have on others, a way to evaluate potential outcomes for whether they might be negative, neutral, or positive if applied to society. Those algorithms that I talked about before, they all had statistical and practical significance. They were built with great data science and did have some good potential uses for how they might have been applied. But the bad outcomes, they shouldn't have come as a surprise. Hate and misinformation is already present in social media. Hiring discrimination is a long-standing issue. And access to critical resources has always been imbalanced. Each one of these situations could have been predicted and prevented if social significance had been considered. But more than that, they could have been designed not just to avoid harm, but to create good. Imagine a chatbot specifically designed to stop the flow of disinformation and to increase compassion and empathy. Imagine a hiring algorithm specifically designed to find the most talented individuals from the most diverse backgrounds and ideas of thought. Imagine healthcare and other systems specifically designed at alleviating discrepancies and injustices. All of these are possible if we create our futures while considering society. So I want to ask you, as you think about your role in this world, do you fail to consider society? Even if you don't work with data or build algorithms, you may not realize the power that you have in your decisions and the data that you make with each one. You may not realize the power in how you choose to spend your time, your money, or in what you choose to share and to support. But your actions add up, create data, and impact others. You likely already think about things like, is this true, or am I going to be wrong? like statistical significance. And you probably already ask yourself, is this valuable? Is this worth my time? Like with practical significance. But do you ask yourself whether or not your actions are socially significant? I invite you to do so. I invite you to evaluate everything for not just whether it's accurate, well-built, or useful, but whether or not it is socially significant. Thank you.